Thinking is being criminalized. Opinion is a crime. The left speaks of free speech policies. Listen, we have a free speech policy. It's the First Amendment. This is not my problem. This is America's problem. Think about it. There's an important lesson to be taken from this event. And we should learn from the left. The left has failed in all of their ideas. Every idea has failed, except they stand by their people. No matter how egregious the crime, no matter how grave, they circle the wagons. The right, the only thing circular on the right is a firing squad. <laughs> it's why the left is so effective, and this is a profound failing on the right. If we don't stand up to this bullying and censorship that the Eventbrite in in incident epitomizes, the freedom of speech will become all but a dead letter in this country. For my part, I'm doing all I can. Cowardice and capitulation are pandemic today, and the event bright's quick surrender is a sad case in point. So, this speaks to the left's war on the republic. This speaks to the war on the intellect, the age of anti-intellectualism, and the age of anti-reality. Thinking is being criminalized, opinion is a crime. The left speaks of free speech policies. Listen, we have a free speech policy. It's the First Amendment. Inoffensive speech needs no protection. The First Amendment, above all speech, protects political speech. Good ideas, likable ideas, need no protection. Think about it. It's ideas that we don't like, because then who would decide what's good or what's forbidden? We live in an age where failing at your job cannot get you fired. We live in an age where a, social, a clumsy social media post can get you fired. They destroy people. They destroy people's good names. They destroy people's reputations. Let me tell you something. That, too, is a form of murder. Rendering someone unable to make a living is a form of murder. Big brother is now big boss. They have the power to deprive you of, of your livelihood if you subscribe to politically incorrect views, whether online or off. You might bring the company into quote unquote disrepute. So workers in the age of woke are expected to follow or risk termination. I am sure that you know people that have suffered under this regime. The last frontier in this war is the internet. It is the battlefront, it is the battlefield in the information battle space. Social media platforms today represent the gravest threat to our freedom of speech because it is the public square. I have never incited to violence, I have never exhorted to genocide. I speak in defense of freedom. This is my terrible, terrible crime. Now in 2016, I filed a lawsuit in my firm, American Freedom Law Center, against the DOJ. Why the Department of Justice? The Department of Justice, we were challenging Section 230 under the FEC code, which provides immunity from Facebook and Google and Twitter and YouTube, which allows them, allows these social media giants to engage in government censorship and discriminatory business practices free from legal challenge. I dare to stand in defense of freedom, and everything that you've heard about me is a lie. The idea that I'm anti-Muslim. First of all, I help Muslim girls who want to live without hijab, <laughs> who want to live free lives. I don't care about Islam, honestly. I don't care if you worship a stone, just don't stone me with it. <laughs> the left has been trying to shut down all dissent for years. Now it has moved to openly calling for violence, and we see a glib politicization of mass murder. Outrage that leverages the innocent deaths to destroy reputations 
and the careers of others. Shootings by mentally unstable people who should have been institutionalized, but the left shut those institutions, by the way, should have been institutionalized are being used to magnify a white supremacist threat. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Jew and I'm a white supremacist, so it's anything goes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it took centuries of intellectual, philosophical development to achieve political freedom. It was a long struggle, stretching from Aristotle to John Locke to the Founding Fathers. The system they established was not based on unlimited majority rule, but on the opposite, on individual rights, which were not to be alienated by the majority or minority plotting. The individual was not left at the mercy of his neighbors or his leaders. The constitutional system of checks and balances was scientifically devised to protect him from both. This was the great American achievement. Yes. We have some great warriors in the audience. Unsung heroes, but this is the nature of the animal. Don't sing about me, sing about you. No, no. Listen, no. I was really encouraged within the last few months to see that there was a legal decision called David Yerushalayim, uh, that Trump and you know other people who want to eliminate critics on their Twitter page can't do it because it's against the First Amendment. So why can't we go after Twitter and say, look, you can't delete me because that's against the First Amendment. Uh, what's the difference? How can we not delete the critics of the Twitters and then delete the people who are, you know, conservative, everybody? I love it. She still thinks the left is fair. I'm not that's so, that's so quaint. It is the left. Law. Twitter is the left. They're not using I'm the law. The law. They're, writing their, they're writing their own law. They're doing their own thing. And the fact is, until social media platforms are deemed to be the public square, ensuring our First Amendment rights. People used to say to me, why do you run on government buses and government billboards? Why not run on private companies? Let me tell you two reasons. First of all, governments have the best real estate. They have the best billboards, they have all the buses, they have the subway, that's reason one. Reason two is, if the government runs it, the private companies will run it. If the government doesn't run it, listen, they did an ad down in, 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 in Dallas, hijab, promoting the honor of hijab. The only honor I know under hijab is honor killing. Honor girls, Aksa Parvez, Nora Maliki, Amina and Sarah Saeed, Muslim girls that would not wear the hijab and were slaughtered for it. So I submitted an ad, a lineup of girls, a lineup of girls, Western girls, who were slaughtered here, slaughtered for not wearing the hijab. They wouldn't run it. I changed the copy, I took out Islam, I, I did, they wouldn't run it. So it's very important that the government recognizes our First Amendment rights on social media. I think everything else, every people that are suing, forget it, it's a private company. You do not want to destroy pri the, the rights of private companies. Trust me on this. They will use these laws to destroy you. And the fact of the matter is, is we, the American taxpayer, paid for the creation, development, and invention of the internet. We paid for that, it's ours. They are using this platform and they should be made to adhere to the First Amendment. It should be that simple. All this, con yeah, that's it. All these people, they're meeting, we'll, we'll tweak here, we'll do, that's the worst thing you could do. Exception makes bad law. We, the American ta taxpayer, paid for the internet. They are using the internet. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey folks, if you like that video, press like and subscribe and never miss another Rebel video.